Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Allison. Welcome to our home. Today we're going to talk about pen trading. So before we get started, one of the things you need to understand about pen trading is what all types of pens are out there. And there are really expensive pens and then there are just kind of everyday pens. If you're just going to the park to have a good time, trade for what you like. That's the most important thing. Just have a good time. When we went the first time, we bought some pens, we traded for what we liked, and that was the end of the day and we loved it. That was, Disneyland. That was at Disneyland in 2015. Since then, we've gone to Disney World numerous amounts of times. And we, we are seriously into pen trading. As you see this big old wall behind us, this is not even a oh, tenth yeah. of what we have gotten into. And we got like three boards over here. But what we do have is hidden Mickeys on almost all of this. There are a few things that aren't. And that's what we're trying to do is I'm trying to collect all the hidden Mickeys from 2019 uh, all the way back to 2005. It's a huge goal and we would like to get there some at some point point. and in fact in some future videos we're going to give you guys an opportunity to help us get there but until then we just want to start today with how to trade pins. First off if I was walking through the park and I saw a cast member and they were wearing a lanyard similar to what I'm wearing or what Allison is wearing. You would ask them, can I trade pins with you? And they'll say, can I see your pins? yes. And, and can I trade? Right. And so it's then they'll that. they'll hold them out like this and they'll let you trade any pin on your set for the, on your lanyard for one of theirs. And so if Allison was a cast member, I might go up and say, uh, would you like to trade? I would like to trade for your stitch pin. And then she would say, yeah. And then if it's a cast member, I can say, okay. And I can pick out whatever pin I wanted to give them and anything. give them that pin. Any pin. And as so, long as it's Disney. That's right. And so, yeah, thank you. As long as it's Disney. So then I'd take that pin off and I'd give it to Allison. Well, I'd give it to the cast member. And they would give me their pin and I'd put it on. Now, one thing about it, we like to take and use these metal backs, these locking backs. And the reason we use these is these backs lock and they don't let the pins fall off your lanyard. It took us a trip or so before we really got to uh, noticing that we have to have these locking backs because you're walking and these things are slapping up against you and your pins are falling off. And man, the first time you lose a pin you really like, you're going to wish you had locking backs. Yeah. Uh, that in has happened studio, to every one of us in our family. In the studio, I, 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 had, I was using Mickey backs, which cast members use. Right. And I was and I was wearing Mickey backs, and actually I had a pin Just that I was going to show y'all, and it fell off twice. Yeah, it was this one, and if you'll see, this is a larger pin. It's a wreck. It opens up, so it's pretty heavy. It only has one back. pin on the back and one Mickey back holding it. And as you notice, that, that slides on and off real easy. In fact, watch this. There it went. And so pins can fall off that easy. And it's like so when you're, when you're walking, you, it just goes like this. If you use one of these backs, like what I had here, and, you're, and you've got that same pin on there, it doesn't fall off. It is locked. And so we suggest putting these locking backs on. And so that's our suggestion. Now let's say you walk into the park though and you come across somebody, an individual, and you see a pin that they have and maybe you're trading with a cast member and they've walked up. But you can always look at them and say, hey, uh, if they have a pin you like, you can say, would you like to trade that pin? And, like they, and they may say, yeah. See, Allison, I'd love to trade this pin for this cool 
pin here with all the autographs in it. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you don't want to trade. And so what we would do is uh, we would ask those cast those uh, individuals, and the most they're going to say is, uh, "No, I'd really rather keep my pin." And so if it's somebody that you're trading with. You can't just give them whatever pin you want. Yeah. You have to give them something they want too. And so that's more of an amicable trade, meaning you've got to give them what they want and they have to give you something you want. Cast members, not so much. They'll trade anything you've got for whatever they've got. And so uh, when you go to the park, buy you a set of pins. If you don't want to spend a bunch of money, you can buy something like this pack of pins right here. It comes five pins in a pack. And there's 16 different types of pins in this series. And you can buy this pack for $27.99 if you're at the park. But if you go to uh, eBay and you can find this same sealed pack, you can get it for less. I think uh, somewhere around uh, between $10 and $20. If you go to the Disney outlet stores, you can also find pins for a lot less money. And so I would go to those places if you have the opportunity and buy them ahead of time. But if you get into the park, you can buy these or you can buy sets that have five or six pins in them with a lanyard to hold the pins and those are called starter sets and those sets are going to cost you somewhere around $30. So they're a few dollars more than these but they also have that lanyard in there. And so uh, do your homework on that. Go get those things beforehand. It'll save you some money and go to the park. Enjoy trading. There are numerous ways to carry your pins in the park you'll get the hang of that. But if you're just going and it's your first time, go get you a few pins. Buy stuff you don't even like because you're gonna wanna trade it up. You're gonna find things in the park that you like more. So for those of you who tuned in, I'm gonna be giving one of these limited edition Haunted Mansion pins away. And so the way to win it is to like the vi I mean to, to uh, subscribe to our channel and comment down below your favorite type of pin to collect. And we're going to keep this series going till we hit 100 subscribers. And at 100 subscribers that have commented, uh, and, and whoever's commented at that point below, in the videos leading up to that, we're going to have a drawing and they're going to win this. What we want you guys to do is go to the parks, have a good time, trade pins, and enjoy yourself. And until next time, from our house to yours.